morning I fam, welcome to today's vlog. Joining me, Mila and Jace in my bedroom. This morning we're just waiting for, I'm just waiting for Isla to finish on her tutor session. Yeah, we're not gonna play in the water. Mila's bathtub's still got water in it because we just had a bath about an hour ago and I've not emptied it yet. And Jace is asking if he can play in it. And the answer is no, <laughs> don't do that. But yeah, we're just waiting for Isla to get off her tutor session because me and her are going for a little outing today. Are you being a good girl? Are you done? That was quick. No, I'm not done. I still okay. Lesson okay, Isla's heading off to do her next lesson. Right, Jace. Are you ready? I've got something to show you. This is getting a little bit bored. So, kneel down in front of my stool. Look at the state of my bed. Still need to make it. Kneel down, I've got something to show you. Okay, keep them closed. Are you ready? Open. <gasps> What's that? It's yours. Do you know what it is? Are you ready? You open it like this, and then there's lots of black pages inside. Where's the story? There's no story. Do you know why there's no story? We have to make the story with all these colours. Yeah. Can you open them? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Open them. What do you say? Please. Good boy. And then you've got one of these little cloths. So we can rub the story away and make a new one. So we can make lots of stories in this yeah. book. Open it. Let's open it right now. Open it. Was it being bigger? That's right. Mila Rosebud. <laughs> Say mama. Say mama. Say mama mama. She's like, no, you've had it. You've had it. So here's my butterfly. Can you wear the mama? <laughs> Such a bad drawer. Can you see yourself? You want to see yourself? And and do your butterfly, mama. No, turn around. Can you see it? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. That's really cool, isn't it? And look at mine. Wow. <gasps> I've got to admit, I quite like this. I bought it for our travels this summer. It's like a little compact. Mama. Yeah. Mama. I want to move away with these. I'll put that in water in a second and it expands, okay? Um, yeah, it all comes like a little travel pack. They're like neon colour, so they look pretty cool. And then you can just rub it all away and start again, can't you? Yeah, rub it. Do you to try rub it away? Yeah, we try rub your butterfly away. <gasps> oh, excuse me! Excuse me, I don't want to wet. You little woman. <laughs> what are you doing? Woo! <laughs> So me and I are out for a little mummy daughter day today. Yeah. We've got Mila with us, of course. But um, I, Isla's been asking me for about a week now for me to take her to the shops, but on her own. Yeah. So she loves looking around shops. So I asked her where she wanted to go. She said the range, but we've decided, she said the range and home bargains, but we've decided on home bargains and B&M because yeah. they're together and the range is like right out of the way. Yeah, it's been much better. Yeah, so she could have even gone to Home Bargains. Um, no, sorry, she could have even gone to the range or Home Bargain. Do you know what? It's too complicated to explain. I'm rocking a 2016 hoodie. 2016, you know about the hoodie. I don't know if that was 2016, that one. It says 2016. Oh, oh my gosh, you're right. You know more than I do, Isla. <laughs> um, first up, though, is McDonald's. Hi, can I take your order? Hi there, please. Can I get a strawberries and cream regular frappe? Yep. And can I get the regular Belgium milk chocolate frappe as well, please? Yeah, that's everything. That's everything, thank you. As we were paying on the little screen in front of us, we saw that they also do a chocolate version. I'm not a massive chocolate fan. Isla is though, so we decided to get one of each and we're gonna share them. Also, I should probably explain, not that I need to, but um, the reason that we've done this is because whenever we set off out anywhere in the car, Mila falls fast asleep straight away and I'm always trying to think of things that we can do that like without, pass, pass without. the time in the car so we can stay in the car for a bit longer, which is why we're doing this first. Thank you. Perfect, thank you so much. I'm really sorry, we're just waiting on the strawberry syrup for your frappe. Would you mind just pulling in a bit and we'll run them out for you? Yeah, no problem, Tom. Thank you. Team, I just heard that uh, we waited on the strawberry syrup. So we've pulled into a bay and we're just waiting for them to bring them out. I'm so excited. I'm really excited. Strawberries and cream. Oh, amazing. But the chocolate one sounded good too. What was the chocolate? I can't remember. The chocolate. I can't remember now. 
chocolate. Chocolate and chocolate. Was it yeah. chocolate fudge? No, I don't think it was. I think it was just chocolate. Yeah. Oh, it was Belgium chocolate. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was Belgium chocolate. Mm -hmm. Look how cute Mila looks. <laughs> Fast asleep. Bless. <gasps> They look so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Smells like chips. Yeah. <laughs> Scroll them up, Isla. Okay, you, you can taste both first. Okay. And then you tell me which ones you like best. Oh, this is an Oreo. You did an eye roll for sure, then, Isla. Tastes <laughs> like Nutella and Oreo. It tastes like what? Nutella and Oreo. Nutella. And Oreo. Nutella. <laughs> Nutella. Nutella. Yeah. <laughs> is it good? Oh, <laughs> yeah, both are so good. Which you like best? Both are thick. Ah. Oh, it's like a it's like a it's like a liquidier strawberry milkshake. Yeah. <laughs> liquidier. Milkshakes from McDonald's are usually quite thick. Oh, this this one's quite thin. This thin. is my favourite. Mm. It's from my half, my favourite. It's the Oreo one your favourite. Yeah. It's not Oreo, it's Belgium chocolate. Whoa, well, I've got so much chocolate bits in it. I love it. Bits of deep Strawberry. Uh, you can have strawberry now. <laughs> okay, milkshakes, drinks, frappes drank. Mila awake, her little eyes opened the second I turn the car engine off, which is so typical. Isla's run straight to the Maui. Ma is it Maui? Oh, she's back. Oh my gosh, look at that for Jace. I remember that I got him on my birthday and I didn't realise, well, it was last year when I turned nine and I didn't realise it was Jason and I used it. I remember that actually. Like, oh, sorry, I didn't read that. <laughs> but I did get him a couple of these last time and I remember when we opened inside it was like a sticker or something yeah, or a, a bit of plastic. No, it wasn't. It was a mochi. Uh, it was like a squishy and you squish it and it's that's, like a dinosaur. Yeah, that, one that's like what that one is. The mochi, yeah, that's what that one is. But I'm sure I recently got him something like that and inside it, Maybe it was an excavation oh, kit. I know what it is. It was an excavation kit. Yeah, it was an excavation kit, and he got he got like this was band it a, in it. A little plastic thing or something. Yeah, it was like a, just a plastic line. Yeah, it was really random, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was like but, um, a, a scar. Mila, get off the camera. Yeah, that one looks like it's got a mochi in it. So should we get one for him yeah, for um yeah, his bath tonight? It. Let's do it. This orange one. It's up to you. You can choose which colour you think. Green. Can you reach? There's a blue one behind. Oh yeah. Which colour do you want? Uh, which do you think? This looks more green and Jason's favourite colour is green, so we'll get it. We'll go green. It's so preppy. And she's gonna scream. <laughs> I'm giving her these for our sleepover tomorrow, so I'm gonna tell her I've got a couple of things, but you can have them tomorrow. Yeah, so she's buying a hair mask for them both. Yes, yeah, so we've got some Maui and a hair mask. You've got a hair mask, you've got some Maui conditioner. Yeah. Oh, let's keep looking. My <laughs> Tony! That, that was the hat I was going to buy for you the other day when I got you the other ones, but I didn't know if it would fit because it only comes in one size. Feet. That doesn't fit me, Either. Wait, either. I got the ponytails. Yeah, but I don't know if it would go down even without the ponytails. Because if you can't, you just pull them over the ponytails. The ponytails are there though and they're big sticky out ponytails. <laughs> I think it would. It wouldn't when my ponytails weren't there. Do you think? Yeah, it wouldn't we? And it's like I've got my, my winter kitten now and then I have a summer kitten. Her and uh, Isla and Jace play this um, kitten game where Isla's the kitten. And Jace goes, Jace loves oh, it. She's a kitten. And I go, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get some breakfast. Meow, meow. So cute, Isla. So go on then. Okay, I get, you can get that. <laughs> That's so cute. Just found some outdoor rugs that are round. I've never seen round ones before. And I'm trying to think if it'd go on our balcony, like under the fire thing. Oh no, an outdoor rug under the fire is not gonna be good, is it? And we've got the square one, yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't buy one. Maybe. Yeah, we don't need to buy that today. Let's not bother. But it's still cool. Could buy that another day. Yeah. Definitely, if I find somewhere for it to go. Also, I've just noticed they've got this um, foliage. Is this? Foliage? Yeah, that'd be good for like, on the, um, on the glass. Style, the Tweed some lights in that. Oh. It'd look really nice, wouldn't it? that's going to be the new style in the bedroom. I quite yeah. like that. Look what else I just found. What is it? Artificial grass, but somebody, a few other people actually, said these tiles for the 
balcony. It's still only being in four packs for ten pounds. It's not being in. It's home bargain. I mean, home bargain. Sorry, Isles. Um, I'm not going to buy these today, but it's good that the options are. Me and my monkey. Monkey doesn't wear any pants. <laughs> Me. He said he didn't say pants, he says pamper nappies. I oh, am yeah, monkey doesn't wear and wait he goes, monkey doesn't wear any pants. Monkey only wears pamper nappies. <laughs> That's terrifying. Me and my monkey. Isla's having a meltdown. This is the doll that me and Esme wanted sit to snow cabin in Switzerland. Wow. <sighs> am I gonna buy it or not? For Esme, she's thinking for a birthday. Am I gonna buy it or not? For who? For you? For Esme. For Esme? Am I going to buy it? Or am I not? Ooh. You have to wait and see. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the biggest wicker basket I know. I think I've ever seen in my whole life. So much straw. It's mega. Mm. Is it mega, Mila? There's so many. How cute are these? Oh, he's winking. He lost an eye. Oh my gosh, half of them have lost an eye. Okay, it might not be good. These are cute. Like string shape. Say what, babe? Things. Things. Yeah, things. Yeah, things. Looks like thumbs. Yeah. It's definitely things. Stuff. <laughs> things and stuff. Time for take two on Mexican night. <laughs> I didn't actually throw away all of my uh, veggies that I'd cut up yesterday, the peppers and the onions and the garlic and things. I put them in a zip, zi uh, an airtight container and popped them in the fridge. I've just looked and they're still as fresh as they were yesterday. So I don't get to, I don't have to re-chop all of those. I'm just going to obviously reuse them. I'm about to make a dinner now. I have to just say, I was just sat feeding Mila Chris has just taken her upstairs to change her. And Jace came over to me. Oh, it was so cute. He was literally stood up on the sofa at the side with his head on my shoulder. And I just felt his head go really heavy. And I was like, you okay, Jace? And he's like, no, I'm going to sleep. And he, he was genuinely going to sleep. He looked so cute. So I just turned him around and said, why don't you lay here? Sleepy little boy. And when this boy's out, like when he's out, he's out. No waking you up, eh? He's had about half an hour. I'll probably leave him another half an hour-ish whilst I make dinner. It's that territory that you shouldn't really let them have a nap. Also, I've got the wrong lines on, so you might not be able to see her properly. But Prinny, she literally will not come in the house when the girls are playing out. Even though she's clearly tired and she clearly wants to go to sleep because she's currently laying on the grass going to sleep, <laughs> she won't come in. <laughs> She's just laying on the grass going to sleep. Okay, so lots of you guys keep asking me to show more recipes and how I make things. So I'm going to quickly show you how I'm making tonight's dinner because, oh, I'm so excited to eat it. It looks delicious. Cooked my mince, so fried it in a tiny little bit of oil, drained it, added in the peppers and onions that I cut up yesterday, courtesy of me and Isla. And then added in some taco mix. I'll show you the kit that I bought now. So it's these little kits. These are from Aldi. I can't remember how much they were, but they were really cheap. Um, and yeah, all you need to add is your peppers, onions. I did add a bit of extra smoked paprika and garlic powder. And what else do you need to add? Cheese. And then any sauces that you want. So we've got guacamole, guacamole and sour cream. And this is how I'm making them up. Okay, wrap. And then add some of the mixture, the mince and veggies. A little bit more. That'll do. Um, what next? I've crunched up the crisps, but you can leave them whole if you want. I just find the wraps close easier when the crisps are a bit crunched up. Um, add a spoonful of guaca, pachanga. Doesn't say to do this on the box, but I'm just doing it for a bit of extra flavour. Dollop of soured cream, pachanga. Oh, look at that, Esme. Yummy. Delicious. Drizzle of cheese sauce. Mm. Oh, well, you better make mine like this. And then, just because we're a bit of a cheesy family, a little bit extra cheddar on top. And then all you do is you work, I've done this a bit too fat now because I was showing you guys. 
You work your way round, closing it like so. All the way around. And then flip it over onto a tray. And then if you like us and you're a very cheesy family, put a bit more cheese on top. <laughs> There you go, little mm. taco quesadilla, what they call nacho crunchy fajitas. Pop them in the oven for 10 minutes. I actually haven't held a camera in so, well, I mean, I feel like it's only been a few days, but like, I feel like I haven't held a camera and vlogged in ages. Um, I have to get out of the shower, as you can tell. Um, so I look a bit, oh my gosh, I look horrendous. Let's just ignore my current state. It's fine, we're good. Um, but what was even, I feel like I've just had such a busy last few weeks with school. Yeah, but it's just, it's really weird because in your head you're like, okay, I've got, I've got 10 weeks before my exams, I've got eight weeks, I've got six weeks, I've got four weeks. I do feel prepared for them though, like I, I feel ready for them, but the same, it's like, it's, it's, it's two different things. I'm like, you know what, I'm ready for this, I've been working hard, what happens happens. If I get to my exam and I completely freak out, I completely freak out. If I get, you know, it's just what happens, what, ha what happens happens, but there's another side of me that's like, I'm a nervous wreck, I'm quite scared, I'm gonna be in this exam hall, like, it's, it's, I'm quite nervous for it, um, and I think I, I'm really thankful actually, and do you know what, after I've, after I've vlogged this, I feel like I should go, um, say this to mum and dad, but, um, I'm really grateful for my parents, for mum and dad, through all of this because they've just been the biggest support and like supporting me and making sure I don't feel anxious about them and saying you know they'll support me and it really means a lot. I feel like it's one of those things that's like a big deal in your head but once you get like the first exam done you kind of get a feel of it so it's good. The first exam I feel like is the scariest one because you know it's just the scariest one. If you were doing your GCSEs comment down below which subject you are, which test, exam, whatever, which subject you are most nervous for. I think for me it's probably maths and that's just because I'm always nervous with maths but I have done a lot of past papers in the last few weeks and they've gone so well. Like I'm actually like, I feel like in my head I'm like I'm not gonna know this, like I just, I don't know and then I could like mess it up in my head but like I just relaxed and I did all these tests and I was like hold on how do I know this? Like it just all like, it was just all there. It was, it was just magic, so um, I felt pretty good about that. But yeah, I think my maths one's the one that I'm mo most nervous for. English, again, like I said, we love English. And history is like a, mm, like I enjoy it, learning about it's fun. But then like, you have to remember all these like boring facts and it's just like, like some aspects of it, really, inter really, really like interesting, really like cool to listen about, whatever. But then there's some bits that I'm just like, Right, do I really need to know that? <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, everyone, if you're doing your exam, um, no matter what exams they are, if you're doing them now, if you're doing them in a few weeks, if you, whenever you're doing them, um, I'm wishing everyone the best of luck. Um, try not to stress yourself out too much. Make sure that you are looking after yourself, looking after yourself still. Make sure you're getting your five a day water, sleeping well, and also having fun, having breaks in between because it's so important to have breaks. Like sometimes I'll be working for ages and I'm like, you know what, I need to like go have a break and go like just chill for it. Like I, I sometimes have, I have, <sighs> I do work for quite a while um, and I'll sometimes be sat there like three hours and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I've been sat here for so long. And then I'm like, you know what, let's just listen to music for half an hour and relax. And I think that's really important that everyone else does that too. So if you haven't had a break yet, then you should all go get a break. Anyway, I'm gonna try to stop rambling now. It's because I've not been on the vlog the last few days, so I'm just, I've just, I've just got so much stuff to say. Also, I love reading it. Right, so I, I, I'm gonna try my best not to ramble because I know you're, I know you're all really, really bored. But I have um, a new book list. I haven't even finished some of the books I've already got, it's really bad, but I have a book list, I, I swear it's like over 300 pounds, but I really want these books so bad, like I have so many good suggestions from everyone on my Instagram. <gasps> Why do you keep knocking on the door, I keep hearing it every five seconds? Mm -hmm. I've just been downstairs, so I haven't Well, I just, two times I looked over because I heard something at my door. Oh, well, let's go. <gasps> it's when I stepped in that ring in, in um... It really is. <gasps> What? I've You've been this... using my pineapple Maui. It's not a hair product, it's like a body product, is it not? You've been using my pineapple Maui. I only smell. used it once. <laughs> Mum said I could use it one time, it's not just yours. I share my stuff. Guys, as I never ever apologises, she's one of them people that she just doesn't believe. She doesn't believe in apologies, she's just one of those people, okay? She doesn't really believe in apologies, right? The other day I was talking to Esme about something and I was I was talking about reading a book that I'd really been enjoying and I was like rambling on about it. She really abruptly just stops and goes, well, I really just don't care, like why? why? No, I, I didn't, I didn't. I, went, I, I didn't say I don't care, I went, 
then I was like, I, was going, like, I could do it for it. And I went, and I went, cool. And walked off. He went, cool, I'm really not interested. I'm like, cool, I'm really not interested. Yeah. And then walked off. He was just really rude. So I was like, oh, okay. I and I'd anyway. <laughs> Anyway, mum and dad had a little word with her, didn't they, Esme? I'm interested though. <laughs> I know, but anyway, so Esme, said, Esme came to me, what was it like yesterday or something? She came to my room and I said, never ever so sorry. She came to my room and said, well, I'm, I'm actually really, really sorry about that thing the other day. I, she was crying I in my room. I didn't mean it. You did, because she said, I was actually crying in my room thinking about it last night and I'm really, really sorry. And I was like, are you feeling all right? It was so bad. Yeah, I you should feel bad. Because I saw, <laughs> I saw an edit of you and it was in, and you looked really sad. And I think it was one that I made like ages ago, I don't know why. Uh -huh. um, but, and you, you were just sort of like, and I don't know why. <laughs> and I was like, so from now on, I'm just have to show us my edits. So everyone go make some more edits because I need to show us my them so that she's actually nice to me. <laughs> but that was the sweetest thing Esme's actually does. I, I, I nearly cried and she came so sorry to me because Esme never ever said sorry. I was like, why are you looking at me like that? As, and Esme never cries either, so I was like, oh my days. And then I gave you a big hug. That's my little chat, rant, speech, rumbling on that no one really cares about. But you know what? I hope we all enjoyed it. And I am actually genuinely serious when I say everyone look after yourself. And um, yeah, good luck for all your exams. I'm sending you all lots of hugs. Why am I so awkward? I just... <sighs> Bye, guys. <laughs>